I guess. Yeah, press the space. Oh, thanks. Um, I want to talk about making public data, data which is free and public and out there on the internet, publicer. So a, lo a lot of data is out there, it's quote unquote public, but it's not really public because it's hidden in PDF files or uh, you can't get at it or you don't understand it or it's not explained well. Uh, and something needs to be done to it to make it public -er. Uh So uh, in my uh, community of Charlottetown and Prince Edward Island in Canada, we haven't had public transit until just this past year. And the city came up with a public transit system and said, basically, here's a web page to explain it to you. Uh, you know, we have five routes and five schedules, but nobody in PEI had ever taken a bus before, so they didn't understand how schedules work. And uh, you know, it was all very complex and confusing. And basically, what they were handed is this, which is, you know, here's a map of the city, and uh, literally, this is how big it is. And you figure out where the bus goes and, and when it stops and, and everything else. And then, of course, you're expected to understand how this timetable thing works. And you know, okay, so I'm at the Sea Treat restaurant. Well, what if I'm not at the Sea Treat restaurant? And you know where do I go and all that, so it was very complex. So how do you solve that problem? You do this, you take uh, the PDFs, you take a MySQL database, you take a PHP uh, set of scripts, you take some Google Maps and you mash it all together and you get the interactive Charlottetown bus map. Um, and so you can click on any of these little yellow dots and you get a little pop-up that tells you when the next bus is gonna be and uh, you can just navigate, you can zoom in, zoom out, do all those funky Google Maps sorts of things. Uh, on PEI, if you're a non-resident, you can't acquire land without the permission of the provincial parliament. And uh, there's a body called the Island Regulatory and Appeals Commission, which regulates who can and cannot own land. And they have a database of all the applications to own land. But uh, if you're interested in land and land protection, you want to be able to search that uh, database. And so uh, you want to be able to keep track of what's there and what's not there. Uh, you can go there and you can click, you know, show me all the applications. But what if I do that today? I don't want to come back tomorrow. I don't want to do that every day. Um, and often applications will happen, and then um, you know they'll, they'll go through, and you will never know that, that they were made. So what's the answer to that? You turn it into an RSS feed. You write a PHP script. You scrape the HTML right off the website. Fortunately, it's relatively structured because it was in a database to begin with. And you create an RSS feed, which allows you to, here's all my blogs and everything else, and there's a particular application, and here's one particular application in the details of it. We'll just take a little break. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, on, a, on a municipal level, uh, we do the same thing. This is uh, the municipal building permits. Every week or so, they re release a PDF file, but I don't have to come back to this ugly looking web page every week and check the PDF file and have it open up in my browser. Uh, so what do I do? I do exactly the same thing. I scrape the HTML. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little more difficult to parse their PDF file, so all I do is I uh, attach the PDF file to an RSS uh, 2.0 enclosure, and then here is the City of Charlottetown per building permits, and every time they release their weekly summary, I get pinged in my RSS reader when I'm reading my blogs and doing everything else, and so it really hits me over the head. I don't have to think about it very much. And so this is what I see, uh, a PDF file. Unfortunately, it's all ugly and much together, and I think they do it in Microsoft Word or something, so it, I tried to parse these individually out, but it actually didn't work. We'll take another little break here, or you can go on. You can read all about Charlottetown. <laughs> uh, it's important when you do altruistic things like this, and I should mention at this point that I'm doing all these things out of the goodness of my heart as a citizen, uh, I feel an obligation to explain them. And so every time I do a little project like this, mashing things together and making RSS feeds and everything else, I create a page in the Wikipedia, which is my own little Wikipedia, and I try and explain it to the best of my ability. Uh, Charlottetown City Council meets every couple of weeks. Uh, they release the minutes of the city council meetings on a somewhat irregular schedule. Sometimes it's the next day, sometimes it's three weeks later. If you're a citizen, you want to keep in touch with when the uh, minutes are released. You want to be able to read them, but you don't want to have to check this ugly looking web page every day. So again, what do you do? You create an RSS feed by scraping this page. And here's the city of Charlottetown council minutes. And you see the council minutes listed along the side there. And again, the council minutes are difficult to parse apart. They're not in any sort of structured, made it in a sort of way. So you just add them as an RSS enclosure and people can pick them up in their browser. You can go on to the next one, we don't need a break at this point. Uh, and so these are the city council minutes. And we'll just take 10 seconds here to read the city council minutes again. <laughs> this is sort of one of those slides that got stuck in there to take me up to 20 from 19. <laughs> he, he's a friend of a friend of mine, actually Bruce Garrity, father of Stephen Garrity, creative designer at Firefox, very involved with the creation of the Firefox logo. 
Uh, I created a little, uh, after I did the bus map, I created a little a system called realcharlottetown.com. We had a very highly government funded program called Virtual Charlottetown, which was a waste of money. So I created Real Charlottetown. <laughs> this is an annotable map. You click on the map, you can just, you can tag it, you can tag a place, you can add a description. There's an RSS feed. Uh, the provincial government allows you to download every uh, improved property on Prince Edward Island has a civic address, civic address number, name, etc., etc. There's a page here that allows you to download that civic address data, but there's very, very little explanation as to what you can actually do with that civic address data, data other than loading it into an Excel file and maybe looking at it or something. Uh, so what I did, again, is my way of being altruistic and trying to explain what I know, because I mean, I, ironically I was involved in putting the original web page together before I left the employee of the province. Uh, I created a page that said, okay, here's how you can programmatically download that information to a MySQL database, and then you can use it in PHP scripts to do interesting things and build public web apps and, you know, basically get funky with it. Like this. So here's what I did. I did putting together all the things that I've just described. I took the city council minutes, I wrote a PHP script to, to strip all the addresses out of all the city council minutes for the past three years. Then I merged that with the civic address data and created a Google Maps mashup to put on the map every mention of every civic address in Prince Edward Island for the last three years. And then I explained it on my web blog to allow other people to be able to do the same thing in their city. And so I talked about my RSS experiments, talked about using the open source XPDF to do actually the heavy lifting, uh, and then the PHP script, and then the real Charlottetown, and sort of put it all together. And this is the Rookipedia. I, I'm a strong advocate for everybody explaining everything that they do in this style all the time to everybody, because I think that really amplifies the value of doing sort of altruistic public service web projects. Yeah.